When the romantic drama Cruel Intentions premiered in 1999, Ryan Phillippe was in his 20s. Not surprisingly, the incredibly good-looking actor with curly hair became a crush for thousands of girls around the world. There's something I have to tell you. Tell me. It was 100% clear that such a talented and handsome young man had a bright future not only in terms of career, but also in terms of his dating life. Hardly did we know how intense things would become for Philippi. By intense, we mean marrying and becoming a dad in his early 20s, painful breakup followed by a series of relationships, one of which would weirdly end in a $1 million lawsuit against the actor. What we totally wouldn't expect then, is that at age 46, the hunky actor would remain single. Why did that happen? Is that by choice or by chance? Today we take a look into all the things that went awkwardly wrong in Ryan Phillippe's dating life. Before we continue, subscribe to Rumor Juice YouTube channel to not miss exciting stories about your favorite celebrities. Not many actors can boast of making it big with their first role, but Philippi can. In 1992, the One Life to Live executive producer hired a fresh-faced 17-year-old actor to play the newly created role. Ryan's character was the first gay teenager of a daytime soap opera. The young actor was warned against playing such a risky part, and he initially had doubts about starting his career like that. Let's admit it, the 90s were not particularly famous for their tolerance and awareness in relation to the LGBT community. Well before Ellen and Will and Grace and all these other things, so it felt like a, a pretty big decision at that point. But despite all the possible risks, young Ryan decided that he wanted to leave a positive impact by playing the complex closeted high school junior, who is a jock that becomes class president. Soon, Ryan started getting more and more offers. It would be unfair to ignore that in addition to demonstrating great acting skills, the young star had a very peculiar and attractive appearance that couldn't go unnoticed. Not surprisingly, by the release of Cruel Intentions, girls just went crazy over Philippi, who portrayed a cynical, manipulative man, Sebastian, who changed under the influence of his true love, Annette, portrayed by Reese Witherspoon. Their on-screen chemistry was not accidental, since by that time of filming, the two were already dating, which leads us to the beginning of this love story. I thought we were just gonna be friends. I can't handle it. I can't keep my feelings all bottled up like you. The young actors actually met before they co-starred in the famous teen drama. It happened at Witherspoon's 21st birthday party. As soon as Reese saw Ryan, she said, I think you're my birthday present. And that turned out sort of true. Just one year after they met, the two became engaged. Before walking down the aisle though, Witherspoon got pregnant with their first child. Witherspoon was extremely nervous about motherhood as it was an unexpected pregnancy. But the two perfectly nailed it together, and already four years later, another baby appeared in the family. Witherspoon gives lots of credits to her husband, saying he was a much cooler parent than her. Ryan's mother used to run a daycare center, so he learned how to professionally change a diaper within just five seconds. In the meantime, Witherspoon felt like she went through a crash course in motherhood. Indeed. 30 years from now, going to the movie, like the, the video store, and uh, running, running the Man in the Moon laser disc and uh, just watching it with my kids. But it would be fair to say that both of them went through a crash course of juggling everything all at once. Remember, they had to combine raising two children and running successful film careers while still being in their 20s. Speaking of careers, while in the 90s Philippi was arguably a bigger star in their family, after the release of Legally Blonde, Witherspoon apparently started getting more recognition and receiving larger paychecks. In 2002, Philippi even made a joke while presenting an Oscar together with his wife. He said that it was Reese who should announce the winner all by herself because she makes more money than him. And the Oscar goes to... Let me read it. Can I read it? <laughs> you make more than I do. Go ahead. Uh -oh. <laughs> So, when thinking of the reasons behind their split several years later, many started questioning if there was some jealousy that affected their relationship. Why can't we be together? You really want to know why? Yes, I want to know why. It's because I don't trust myself with you. In 2007, they got divorced filing the classic Irreconcilable Differences as the reason for their separation. There were various versions explaining what happened between the two, like the one involving jealousy or the unconfirmed rumors of Philippi having an affair with actress Abby Cornish. But both revealed years later in separate interviews that the real problem was their age. Yup, as complicated and at the same time as simple as that. 
They were too young when they got married. You mean nothing to me. Philippi took the divorce really hard. He characterized that period as, quote, the darkest, saddest place I had ever been. There were a good four or five months of not being able to get out of bed. It was the worst time in my life. Here, we should also recall how the Hollywood hunk candidly confessed in one of his interviews that he had been struggling with depression since childhood. Depression has been a huge obstacle for me ever since I was a child. As you get older, I think it decreases some, but I'm still innately kind of a sad person. Despite that very dark period in his life, probably fueled by depression, sometime later, Ryan started dating Abby Cornish, and the relationship continued for several years. Following months of tabloid speculation that Philippi was unfaithful to Cornish, regularly hitting the nightclubs and being linked to other women, they broke up. When asked about the cause of their breakup and the cheating rumors, Ryan's representative simply replied, no comment. A representative for Philippi maintained that it was Ryan who ended the relationship and asked Cornish to move out of his house. Other sources said that Cornish got tired of his non-stop partying and decided to leave for good. After their split, Ryan had a summer fling with then 21-year-old actress and model Alexis Knapp, who gave birth to her first and Ryan's third child. And then there was a relationship with girlfriend and eventually fiancé Paulina Slagter. However, they broke off the engagement in 2016. Now, Philippi's latest romance with 21-year-old Playboy model Elsie Hewitt ended in turmoil. She filed a $1 million lawsuit accusing the actor of beating her up over the 4th of July holiday. According to Hewitt, drunk Philippi assaulted her and threw her down some stairs. Philippi's side insisted that Hewitt herself instigated the incident, showing up to the actor's home under the influence and physically attacking him. Then, according to them, she fell and hurt herself. Philippi expressed his utter disgust over the allegations, saying, As a man raised by women in a household where women's rights, feminism, and advocacy were very much at the forefront, I am sickened that my name can be found in any article where domestic violence of any kind is being alleged. Eventually, Philippi somehow managed to reach a settlement with his ex just days before a trial was set to start. Now, at 46, Ryan is still a dreamboat, but it seems like following his numerous failed relationships and an exhausting lawsuit, the shooter star prefers to stay single. He works out a lot based on his recent quarantine picks. Workouts keep Ryan healthy, energetic, and busy. Probably he doesn't have time for new love, or he simply doesn't want to get burned again. Philippi is also back on track in terms of acting after quite a lengthy break. Ryan has been working on a slew of projects for both the big screen and the small screen. His recent works include an episode of the Will and Grace reboot in which he played himself. He also starred in the film The Sound of Philadelphia, which is currently in post-production. He doesn't seem to lack love in his life since he is super close with his kids. And if you look at his son, the boy is literally his dad's look-alike. Philippi prefers to spend as much time as possible with his children. It really is amazing how Ryan and Reese have managed to develop such a successful co-parenting system despite having such a complicated past. Even though neither Philippi nor Witherspoon speak about their current relationship, we remember how the actress mentioned a few years ago that she'd never regretted marrying Ryan. I learned a lot though. It was an excellent opportunity for me to really find out what it means to be a partner and to be in a marriage, and it's not anything that I thought it was. Unlike her ex, Reese remarried in 2011. Her relationship with husband, Hollywood talent agent Jim Toth, is going strong. The two support each other in everything they do. Reese feels lucky to have him in her life. She shared in one of her interviews. Jim said, I'm going to show you every day what a good partner is, what a good person is. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to do this so much that you're going to get used to it. I was like, what are you talking about? I've never had anybody like that in my life. Some still regret that Philippi didn't become that very person for Reese. Let's admit it, they looked amazing together and we miss their beautiful couple a little. But we also hope that Ryan will find someone who we will eventually be able to call his true soulmate. As always, we are eager to see your opinion in the comment section below. And do tell us which topic we should cover next. Behind the scenes dramas of your favorite shows? Why did this seemingly perfect couple break up? How come this Hollywood hottie is still alone? Who holds the title of the most fan-friendly celebrity? Make your voice heard and we at Rumor Juice will make sure you are never bored. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tell your friends how cool we are.